So today, we're going to learn about multiplication and learn how to multiply two numbers if they have numbers in the hundreds, tens, and ones place. Okay, with addition and subtraction, you can just line them up and just go top to bottom straight down. In multiplication, um, there, there's more steps to the process. But over here in this white box over here, we're going to um, put the steps down. So after you get done watching me do this problem and explain it, you can go back and look at these steps over here when you're doing problems of your own. Okay, so the first step um, we have is multiplying the number in the ones place. Okay, the number in the ones place right here is the four. Okay, and when I talk about multiplication, I talk about having a broken windshield wiper. Okay, it only goes one way. Okay, so we start and we multiply and we can only go one way. Okay, and we never come back. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So the first one, we go 4 times 4. And 4 times 4 is 16. So I put my 6 down here. And just like with addition, I put the 1 in my tens place for the number 16 up on top of the number in my tens place. Okay? 16. Now, I multiply... Um, this number by the number of my tens place. Remember, like I said, I have a broken windshield wiper. It moves over. So 4 times 5 is 20, but I have this 1 up here. And I add the number up top. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21. So just like before, I put my 1 down here. I'll raise it up a little bit. And I put my two on top of the number in my hundreds place. Bring it right on over. Okay. And finally, I'm going to multiply four times three, the number in my hundreds place. And just like before, I'm going to add the number up top. Four times three is 12, plus two is 14. Okay. So I have my four down here. And since there's nowhere, I can't put my one up top anywhere. I have no thousands. I'll bring my, my one down here too. Okay. So that brings us to the next step. The next step is put a zero and bring it down. Put a zero below in the ones place to hold its place. That means right here. Right here, I'm going to put a zero. And the reason why is because we are now multiplying by tens. Okay, I'm not just multiplying by six now, I'm gonna multiply basically by six groups of 10. So I don't need anything in my ones place. I'm putting the zero to hold its place to make sure I don't put anything in that ones place, okay? And I'm going to actually cross out these numbers up here. Just put a line right through them. I'm not going to erase them because if I make a mistake on my addition, have to go back and check, I want to know that, wait, I did have a 2 and I did have a 1 up here. I put a simple line through them to know I'm not going to use them anymore. Okay? And after I put that 0 to hold its place, I'm going to multiply by the number in the tens place. In this case, the number in the tens place is 6. Like I said earlier, I'm multiplying by 6 tens. And just like before, I have my broken windshield wiper. It only goes this way, only goes to the left. Okay, so let me get rid of that to give us some space. Now, 6 times 4 is 24. So, since I'm multiplying by 6 tens, I'm going to put it right below in the tens place. So I had that 0 there, the purple 0, okay, to hold its place. And I need to put that. 2 and 24 up over here. Okay. Now I'm going to multiply it like my windshield wiper says, go right next door. 6 times 5 is 30. But now I, I crossed out that 1 because I don't need it anymore. But I have a 2 up here. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 2 is 32. So I put my 2 down here in 32. And I put my 3 up top next to the hundreds. Okay. Again, that's why I crossed out that 2 because I don't need it anymore. 
I'm going to multiply 6 times 3 now. 6 times 3 is 18. Okay. 18 plus 3 is 21. Okay. Now, just like before, I put my 1 down here. And since I have nowhere else to put my 2, I don't have any numbers in the thousands place. I'm not going to be doing any more multiplying. I put it right next to it. Okay, raise it up just to make it nice. Okay, now that leads us to the last step. Add them up. Okay, so I'm going to put a plus sign right here, and I'm going to put an equal sign right here. And I'm going to add them up to find my answer. I multiplied by all of my ones, I multiplied by all of my tens, and now I'm going to add them up. 6 plus 0 is 6. 1 plus 4 is 5. 4 plus 2 is 6. 1 plus 1 is 2. And 2 plus 0, because there's nothing on top of it, is 2. Okay. So I multiplied by the number in my 1's place, and I got 1,416. I put my 0 down below in the 1's place to hold its place, because now I'm multiplying by it by 6 tens. And when I multiplied this number by 6 tens, I had 21,240. I wasn't done. After that, I put my plus sign, my equal sign, and I added them up. So when you're done, 354 times 64 equals two, um, 22,656. Okay? I le I'm leaving these steps right here, so you can always um, refer back to these. If you know these four steps, multiplying a three-digit number or a two-digit number, by a two-digit number with tens and the ones um, is quite easy because you're always going to do this right here.